Good morning everybody. So today's Monday. We've had a pleasant weekend. A little bit rubbish weather, but today the sun's on our side. So we're uh, back at the chateau. We're giving the, um, I think it's 20 doors and windows in, all together. The second coat of paint. Obviously we're not going to get them all done today, but we're going to uh, concentrate on the ones that need it most. Especially uh, at the bottoms where the sills are. They've been quite weathered. So um, we're just going to crack on and say we get you know, so uh, we get on. This is one of the most tedious things I've done in a very long time. And in the two hours that I've been working on it, the top section is complete. I've started the bottom section. Um, a lot of these like lengths of glass beads are sort of like random or incomplete. Because when I bought it, a lot of it was in a box. And um, I have had to sort of assemble some of these lengths. And I'm using brand new brass wire and rounded end pliers so I can twist these little loops so none of it falls out but it's going really well but I really wanted to get it up today but tomorrow but um, tomorrow the bed is arriving for this bedroom so it means we can get the bed in here as well we can get the mattress on and Michael's got to finish off a little bit more cutting in and then the room's going to be basically done other than some furnishing um, but next week no not next week from tomorrow we're on to the next bedroom because the bad weather is starting. We're gonna have a lot of rain. So it means we can crack on with the other room. Rick, Yanis and I and Michael can get in there and get it done. Hello everyone. Well, over the weekend we had some really heavy rain, about two days worth of rain, and this part of the kitchen, the part that I've done the terrace above, is dry. Um, there has been no leaks. The only damp on the floor is actually from where I tried to mop it, 
and uh, very unsuccessfully. It's filthy. It's going to need much more than a little mop. Um, but we know that what I've been doing so far has worked, except for a piece of water just dripped there. <laughs> but actually, that, that drip is, so, is very small, and I know where it's coming from. It's actually coming from the edge through the balustrade, and that actually took about 24 hours for that water to get through. So once I've fixed that edge, this bit will be 100% dry, except for over there, which I haven't done. Anyway, let's talk tiles. See, we've got a problem in this kitchen, and, and that is that a lot of the tiles have fallen off, dropped off, smashed, and they've been discarded. We do have a few. Um, this is one of the original turn of the century metro tiles. Now they are, the problem we're having in finding new ones is that this is a modern tile, a European one. Now in Europe we use the metric system, so there are standard centimetre size, like seven uh, and a half by 15 or something like that. Um, but these original tiles, the Americans will be happy to know, are in inches. They are three by six inches. Um, and so if we are going to find any replacement tiles um, and we're not going to have them made, we're probably going to find them in America. Now, as you can see here, this is a white tile. So they're not white, they're actually like a cream ivory, a light cream compared to a white. They're quite a thick tile actually. Can you see the, compared the thickness of the tile? Um, and they are crackled. So. If we could find some tiles in America, you see they have that beautiful chamfered edge. If anyone knows where we might get some old tiles or some new ones that look like that in three by six inches, please let us know in the comments because we are stumped and we probably need a few square meters. Um, but yeah, uh, over the weekend, I did try to have a go. Now, I tried to have a go at cleaning them. I tried to I put bleach, toilet cleaner, anything I could find. And unfortunately, these, these yellow marks won't come out. And what has happened is the mold, where it's been damp, has actually got under the glaze and stained the tiles. So that might be permanent. There might be something we can use to get that off. Maybe some peroxide, I don't know. But if, 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 it's, uh, if we have to stay with these little things, we'll just call it patina. Um, but actually, that's not a problem. We don't mind staining. We can, we can, we can scrub the tiles, um, but actually replacing the broken ones. Put it behind here. All those are missing. There's a couple here that are broken. Right, should we have a little look, put some of these tiles in place? So that is an original tile. It's a bit of a tight fit, but yeah, it does go in. So obviously this is, uh, yeah, you can see that's completely different. So if you put that there, you can see that there's a gap. So even that Europe, standard European size, although it'd probably be a good, a good um, match just you know, just to just to do something, just to get rid of the hole. But actually, if we can find some American sizes in three by six inches, in a, a, like a, a, a very light cream or an ivory, that would be amazing. And we need your help, viewers. Please do your investigations in America and see what you can find and send us links, whatever, in the comments, because that would really help us out. Because we probably could have some replicas made, but that's quite difficult because obviously tiles shrink as they're fired, so the mold would have to be larger than it. It's just a nightmare. So I think we find an, an appropriate replacement. I think we could just sort of preserve the rest of the tiles as they are, stained or not, we'll just give them a good scrub. As long as they're polished and clean, a few stains doesn't really matter. But we're one step closer. It's, dr it's half dry. So there you go. What number window is this, Rick? Number 500? Yeah, it's... Uh... We've lost count. I'm going to have to get me uh, get an abacus out so I can keep count. <laughs> They're looking really good though, Rick. Uh, but yeah, we've just gone round and done the second court. Mm -hmm. um, so the two the two windows and the door on the... Um, Basement. Oh no, the terrace. The terrace, that's yep. the word. Uh, so yeah, the two windows and the door on the terrace have mm -hmm. all been completed the second court. Yep. The... Triple panel doors for the basement have also had the second court yep. and they're looking really good now. Fantastic. And then the one above, which is uh, the toilets uh, for the yep. kitchen, for the dining room in here. So that we've done really well. So you're not in tomorrow, but you're back in Wednesday. Back in Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Friday. Fantastic. And uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to, because it's going to be raining. It is. Obviously, we can't be painting or you can't be working outside in the yeah. rain, mate. We're going to crack on with them bedrooms. Oh, excellent. So lots of painting. Um, do you know the wallpaper? 
<laughs> well, I think everyone knows how to do it. It depends what standard you want yeah, to do. Yeah, all right. Maybe Michael can do it then. <laughs> but I'm, well, sure, I'm always happy to help. Yeah, we need to crack on with that second bedroom. We'll get that done as quick as possible and then um, start in more rooms. So that's so. the one in between the bathroom that you've started, isn't yep. it? We're just yep. going for the plumber. Yep. So brilliant, mate. Thanks I look so. forward to... Uh, well, thanks for your help today. That's and all right. uh, I'll, I'll see you on Wednesday, just mate. Just finish this window and uh, I'll get on for my tea. All right, mate. Thanks a lot. Okay. See you no later. Worries.